Hi, um, I'm uh, Anne Kinsley from Denton Corker Marshall, and today is my absolute pleasure to present the Shepparton Art Museum, or SAM, as it's typically known. I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians and lands in which we're meeting today, as well as the Yorty Order people of Shepparton, where SAM is located. Denton Corker Marshall's design for SAM was selected as a winning competition entry back in April 2017, and the museum finally opened its doors to the public last October. The positioning of the building and the site was critical to our competition design. You can see it here as the red dot on the main road as you enter central Shepparton when travelling from Melbourne. It is directly adjacent to Victoria Park Lake on an extensive floodplain of the Golden River to the west. And of course, being one of the best, most obvious sites in the township, it was the location of an old petrol station which had the most sublime outlook. It really is a magical site for tall river breadcrumbs that create this amazing dappled light that intertwines with the reflections and ripples of the lake. We knew early on that we wanted to preserve and to rehabilitate as much of the parkland as possible. So while a lot of the other competition entries proposed large expansive buildings, we felt the logical solution was a compact building, the smallest footprint as possible set over the contaminated petrol station site. Shepparton is very flat. It sits in this vast golden ruby plain. To be elevated in Shepparton is quite special and something that perhaps a lot of the city designers take for granted. Throughout the process, it was the one thing that the community and client were most excited about, to be able to stand on top of the museum and see their own town from above for the very first time. Being tall also gave us several advantages. We were able to maximise the Marshall Love Park space by extruding the relatively fo small footprint over five levels to accommodate the brief floor area. We also placed what support and back of house we could underground and worked with landscape designers, urban initiatives to create bias swales to support the flood waves that traverse the site. Being tall, the building forms a beacon in the landscape, creating a landmark for Shepparton from a dis visible from a distance upon approach. It is a very compact building volume, an almost perfect cube. From an envelope design and building services perspective, it is the optimal solution for a sustainable building and help Sam achieve six star green star design and as built. We have been advised as the first art gallery or museum in Australia to achieve this rating, as this building type is typically so energy hungry in operation. We wanted Sam to be viewed in the round, a building with four equal frontages, no front and back side, no obvious back of house. It needed to read as a piece of sculpture, engaging from every direction. The surrounding landscape provided plenty of design inspiration. Majestic river red gums as singular sculptural objects in a flat plain, their height surprisingly comparable in scale to our five-storey building. With beauty through detail and richness in tone and materiality. Our strongest inspiration came from Australian art, but also from the unique feeling of walking down the main street of our country towns. The large overhanging verandas that provide shelter and shade and a communal space that encourages people to stop, chat and connect intrinsically important as a backdrop for rural and regional communities. So how to turn the form and contrast of light and shade created by the iconic outback veranda into a piece of sculpture, like these Richard Serra installations in the Katara Desert, so impossibly thin and monolithic. So a conversation started about abstract floating plates and verandas in the landscape, creating the beginning of a section which when viewed as an elevation, creates a suspended object or canvas, which in itself provides a base for projections or temporary installations overlaid onto texture and color to create one side of the cube. The L-shaped plates come together at different heights depending on their location and function. Each elevation is a frontage for a particular element of the brief, which combine to create a singular object of floating canopies with the interstitial spaces below providing shade and shelter the whole composition provides an identity for Sam and Shepparton. While each elevation signals a different function through materiality and colour. Creating a composition of abstract sculptural elements so the scale becomes indeterminate. The facade plates include very few windows. Little daylight is desired in the galleries proper. In contrast, the central galleria, a transitional exhibition space, is strongly connected to the landscape through two large windows on the east and west facades, deliberately positioned to draw visitors to the building on arrival and connect back to the lake and landscape from within. This is the ground floor level, Sam entrance on the right, facing the main road to town, visitor information to the south, Kayala Arts, 
an Indigenous arts community on the west with direct connection to the park and wetlands, and plant and back of house embedded below the art hill to the north. The next level up has the cafe connecting to the top of the art hill, providing the fourth frontage with the central gallery and the first proper gallery spaces. While the entire building envelope has been designed to passive house techniques to reduce air leakage, the particular focus is on the two large gallery spaces here on level one and level two, and the art storage space on level three. The zoning of the interiors into carefully conditioned spaces and those that are designed to a more relaxed range of temperature and humidity control, such as this central gallery, assist with energy demands. Galleries one and two are fitted with sliding doors to allow exhibition environment, which achieves an AA rating, enabling premium artworks from around the world to be displayed and stored at Shepparton. The reduced material palette, consistent through the museum, celebrates local references. Acoustic perforations in the boardroom mirror the external perforations and the facade cladding in blue gum veneer. Spacecraft Studios collaborated with Kayla Arts and introduced emerging Indigenous artists from Shepparton to screen printing technologies to create the fabrics used in the upholstery of the furniture. Our client, Shepparton City Council, developed a reconciliation action plan specifically for the project as part of the Green Star accreditation. A campfire ceremony was held on site where a reclaimed gum tree from site was burnt to create charcoal for pigment dyes for the screen printing of these fabrics. Every material and furniture item selected has a reasonable story right down to the Murray Gray Cow Hide Rugs to represent the farming community so that the whole project could be a celebration of its region and its people. Level four houses the services plant as well as the um, library for Friends of Sam and then an event space for the large terrace, which faces west, allowing the community to gather and watch the sunset over the lake and wetlands, providing many residents with their first aerial view of town. And back to the ground level, with the building is settling into the maturing landscape and being embraced by the community. Thank you.